guys, welcome to day 26. Today's affirmation is I defend and protect myself and those that I care for. Meaning, you would use this kind of mantra when you feel that your best interests and the best interests of those you care about are threatened. Stand up for what you know is right, which is really hard to do these days, but stay, uh, there is no reason to suffer due to the ignorance and poor decision making or malicious intent of anyone else. This also includes self-sabotage. Um, those who are wrong need to be shown their error. I think this really you could take with you into the world anywhere you go. And really, I think that um, some politicians need to know about this too. But that is my personal politician-like idea. Anyway, moving in. We are going to continue with what we started yesterday. So we're going to use some more of those Russian twists crunches with the dead bugs and bicycles, um, the flutter kicks and scissor kicks, Superman's elbow uh, planks back into Superman with a pull. So we're going to kind of switch it up a little bit. Uh, then we have uh, front curls. We're going to keep with the single sided and doubles. Uh, and then we also have kickbacks and skull crushers. So we have two biceps and two triceps today. It's going to be fun. Um, and then we're going back into deadlifts, um, single leg, double leg, single leg, um, side lying uh, adductions. So I'm going to show you real quick because then I want to get right to it. And then we've got hydrants after that. With the hydrants, I want to do them without the bands to see if you feel stronger than when you first began. Um, so side lying adduction, you're literally going to find that really bony process in the hip roll back on your butt. Okay, let me turn 45. This leg is staying up. You can cross it over to make it extra hard, but for right now, let's just keep it here. And we're gonna lift this way. So we'll do one side, and then we'll switch over. We'll do the other side, and then get back on all fours, which if your wrists are still bothering you, grab that bench, I have mine. All right, so let's get into it. We've got our sit-ups, our Russian twist to start. And we have 36 of these today um, before we move on. I'm gonna try with the eight pound. Let's see where we go. Um, keeping down low, okay? So we're gonna keep low. We're not gonna move our feet yet. We may move our feet maybe tomorrow, okay? So toes are up, heels are dug in, abs are tight and slightly tilted back so that we've got our low abs engaged and keep it low. Here we go, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it a little high up to your shoulders. One, two. We have to slow it down. Three, because we have that weight in our arm. Four, five. And you're just letting that weight, six, go from hand to hand. Seven. Don't try to control it so much. Eight, nine. That's 20. Take it up. One. Feel the difference when you allow that weight to kind of shift from side to side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it right back into middle ground. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, continuing also with the drop and pull, okay? We are going to go to the center. So, toes up. I'm gonna do this so you don't have to look at my crotch because you see what we're doing here. Toes are up, heels are dug in. Keep it nice and close to your chest. We paint down, pull up, one. Paint down, pull up, two. Paint, three. Paint, four. Paint each vertebrae, pull it up, five. Remember your exhales, six, seven, so inhale to protect, exhale to contract. Here's 10. Now taking it side. Here we go. Down, one. Take it up, two. We're staying on this side, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 
other side. Actually, take it eight to the center. Let's do that. One, two, three. You should definitely feel like you can contract each ab section or a lot more five than when you first started. Six, two more. Seven, eight. Take it over. Other side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You're not twisting till you get to the center. Six. So coming straight up, seven, and then back. Eight, center. Nine, one more, and ten. Back to those Russian twists. We're going to stay, yeah, I don't want to bring in the legs yet. Curl it back, rotate, so you feel that low seatbelt engage right away. Keep it low. Here we go. One, two, three. Look. Four. This is how I want your hands. Five. All the way six is in that bottom hand. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Midway. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. So we're getting some shoulder work. Four. Three. Two. One. Take it up. Big rainbow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Six more to the center. Here we go. Right across the shoulders. Two. Three. Let the weight touch. Four. Five, six, and that's it. All right, that was your sit-ups. I hope you're enjoying those. Now we're going into those dead bugs again. I think we used um, egg weights before. I'm gonna pick up three pound weights today, um, or you can stick with your egg weights. You don't have to use any weights at all, but I really wouldn't go higher than five pounds with this, okay? So legs are at 90. This time, so last time we did like this. You can absolutely still do this, okay? But would like to progress it to the straight leg, okay? So I'm gonna go this way for you, all right? So right hand, left leg, straight back. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Pelvis is tucked in, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Other side. One. Remember the pelvis is tucked. Two. Exhaling at the top. Three. Four. Don't let the back arch. Five. Don't let the hips move. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Alternate. One. Two. Three, four, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, inhale, hold on, ten, right hand, right leg, so same side, one, two, you may be feeling like you're arching a little bit, push those hips in, four, five, Pull with the abs, not the legs. Six, seven, there is a huge difference. Eight, you should be feeling it. Nine, we've been using a lot of marching. You should know this. Ready, here we go. One, two. It's not about pulling with the leg. Three, it's about pulling with the abs. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. We had one, two, 30, 40, 50. Now, straight back. You can either keep your knees bent or straight out. Out for one. Out for two. Out for three. Push that belly button into the floor. Three. Out and four with those abs. Five. As soon as you exhale, 
six, you already have corrected your form. All right, weights down. All we're gonna do is slide. We're gonna slide here, slide here, slide here, slide here. Ready? Here we go, straight up. One. We're going to slide right over the other knee, squeezing in here. One, two, don't let the shoulder touch again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's 20. Other side, one, two, three, we're still coming up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, that's 30. Back to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try not to let, don't come all the way down. Eight, nine. That is 40. Quick second to break if you need it. Open up, right? We did one, two, three, four. Yeah. Open up, frog style, but keep it low. Don't reach up, come low. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Now from here, straight up. Okay? Not reaching, straight up. One, two, like somebody's gonna punch you right between the chest. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Good job. Relax. Stretch out. Quick break. We're going back into the bicycles, okay? So, what are we going to do? You can either, let's keep it with knees bent first. For the first set, shoulder to knee. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold right here. Straight up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, that's 30, ready, 10 only here, 1, 2, 3, sorry we should be dropping that other leg, 4, my fault, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, other side, 1, 2, 3, shoulder to knee, 4, 5, 6, 7, you should really feel these deep, 8, 9, 50, relax, open it up, one more time, we only have 6, Hands behind the head or the ears. Press into your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Stretch out. All right. We are going to come up onto our elbows for this set of flutter kicks. All right. So, ooh, did anybody else feel that? Oh, that was kind of tight. So, on our elbows, hands can be under our hips or like right above our hips because I really want you to rock back into your hips, all right? You can flutter here, or you can flutter here, but we have a two count for 20, all right? Let's take it up. Your choice, bent knee or straight leg. Here we go. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, seven, one, eight, one, nine, one, ten more. One, one, two, one, three, one, four, one, pushing those hands, six, seven, Eight, one, nine, one, twenty. So if you felt like your hips were doing that and you weren't pushing actively into your hands, your back might hurt. Push into your hands. That's engaging the entire core. Hands under the hips if you need it, or your hands can be out depending on how hard you want to make this. Straight down and shh. One. Use your breath. Shh. Two. To shoot those legs up. Shh. Three. Shh. Four. Shh. Five. Nine, ten for those of you 
sway back. You should definitely have your hands here. You know who you are. Shh. One, shh. two, or if you feel like you're getting tired, three. You can put those hands under there. Four, shh. five. Don't lift shh. with the legs. Shh. Seven, shh. eight, shh. nine, and 20. Well done. Bring it up. Open and close. Some people call these good mornings. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I do. Um, take them out. 20. So we're open, close, open, one. Right? So it's a two count as well. Here we go. You can do them bent like this. You'll still get a good workout. Ready? Open, one, open, two. Three, three, four, four, five. Push into those hands. Six, six, seven, seven, eight. Eight, nine, nine, ten, ten more, ten, ten, nine, nine, eight, eight. You've got to engage that low abs. Six, five, five, four, four. You're going to feel all in your side. Two, two, one, one. Good job. If you were not pushing, you probably felt it in the inner thigh way more than you felt it in the abs. All right, planks. Man, it got hot here again today, y'all. We're gonna be up in the 80s. It's no wonder people aren't dying down here in Florida. 100 seconds. Ooh, that's not a one minute. That is one minute and 40 seconds. Wow. So, first 35 seconds, flat on the floor, regular Supermans, just holding up. Then we're gonna come up on our elbows for a regular plank, and then we're gonna do up and pull back. Ready? 35 seconds, here we go. So just holding, breathe, looking slightly down. Breathe, I'm just checking the clock real quick. If you need to, because I get a pinch every time in my bad rib. Take a little break, tuck that pelvis. Whoop. Not today, not today. You can use your hands for a little support. Squeeze the glutes. You got five more seconds. This is why I need to do more, all right? Up on your forearms, here we go. Straight up on those elbows. We got 35 seconds here. And then the last 30, we're gonna be on the ground. Easy peasy, and we'll do a pullback. Abs are tight, keep them tight. Pelvis is tucked, booty's tight. Pressing right down through the shoulders into the elbows. Five more seconds, should be a piece of cake for everybody by now. Bring it down and here we go. Superman, pull and relax. Pull and relax. If it's easier, you can bring your feet up. For me it is because I'm engaging a little lower of those glutes or I'm sorry, higher glute, which helps stabilize that messed up rib I have. But you don't have to. Find what feels good with stretching you in the back and making you stronger. Almost there. Good job. Press back into a cat, cat. I don't know my animals. Cow just to release. Cat. Good job. All right, moving into arms. We have front curls, so grab your heavier weights. I'm going to attempt to use my 15s today. We will see what happens. But as we're doing such a light number, it should be good. Right arm only, which is this side, Carrie, <laughs> for six. Here we go. One, down. Two, down. Three, squeezing, guys. Four, probably could have gone a little heavier. Five, and Six. This to me shows that it's working. Six. That I went from tens, three to fifteens. Four in just a couple weeks we've been doing this. Five and six. I did hammer curls. That's why. All right, bring it up. We'll do the regular curls in a minute. One, two, three, and four. Well done. Now, regular curls. Same thing, right arm first. One, two, three, 
two. Really wish I'd started with this. <laughs> three, four. I am using a little bit of shoulder. Five, but my knees are soft. Six, other side. One, keeping that elbow pinned in. Two, these are horrible weights for this. Three, at least for my body type. Four, five, strong up a little bit with the lefty. Six, four to the front, here we go. Four, three, two, you got one more, and one, well done. Now, doing kickbacks with 15s is a no-no for me, so I'm dropping to 12 and a half. Probably could have done it, but again, I'm still scared about hitting that neck. So we're coming down. Push that chest out, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Elbows are up. Left side only. Here we go. One, two. Don't swing in. Three, dead weight right there. Four, dead weight. Five, and six. Other side. Six, five, four. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Two, chest is out. One, both sides. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Pretty exhausted from the kickback, so I'm gonna stick with my 12s. Plus, I got really big triceps, so I'm gonna just take those puppies down a bit. Left hand only, six skull crushes by your ear, not your skull. Here we go. Down, one. Oh yeah, could have done 15. Two, but I'm gonna focus on the squeeze. Three, pushing up through my pinky. Four, five, squeezing my weight. Six, to improve my grip strength. Same thing, other side. Elbows, one, never move. Two, three, take your time. Four, five, both together, nice and easy. Down, four. Don't worry about squeezing so much three, as long as you have control. Two with the grip, and one. Well done. All right, bringing it up. You will need one heavy dumbbell. We have deadlifts, single, single, doubles, right? Um, I think I used 20 last time, so I'm gonna grab that 25. All right, then we have those sideline uh, adductors. And hydrate. So shake it out so you can hold on. All right, single leg. Do you guys remember? We're going to kickstand that foot. It's just there for balance. If you think you're cheating, you can go for toe, but focus on pushing. This is where the motion goes. Push the booty back. I think we've been through this a million times, but I'm going to keep telling you somebody's going to do it wrong. All right, push that booty back. One. Look, I'm not getting that far. Two, I'm going to where I feel a stretch. Three, exhale, come up. Four, inhale, find the stretch, exhale, five. Find the stretch, exhale, six. That knee is still bent, seven, because I'm pushing my butt back. Eight, nothing is on nine, my kickstand. Ten, eleven, and twelve. We've got twelve more. Down, one, down, two, down, three, push the booty, four, push it back, five, like you're closing your car door and picking up your groceries, six, seven, eight, be able to stretch in the hamstring, nine, and squeeze, ten, coming up, I'm going to say it till I'm blue in the face and you're sick of hearing me say it. Because somebody's going to still do it wrong every time. It's not about the weight. It's about the squeeze and perfect form. Here we go. Push it back. One. Push it. Feel the stretch. Two. One side. Maybe. Three. A little bit more flexible. Four. Shoulder blades should be back. Fight. Fight. Six. And put together. Seven. Abs are tight. Eight, nine, zip up the pelvis, 10, 11, we have 12 more, there's 
virtually no weight, maybe 20% of all your weights on that back, that back leg. Two, three, I'm doing it with you. Four, I feel it. Five, six, seven, it's like you're shaving. Eight, nine, 10, exhale on the way up, 11, and 12. All right, now we are gonna switch it. Give yourself a quick shake. That should have been hard, whether you was using five pounds or 50 pounds. We're gonna do a wide toe out deadlift this time, okay? So everything stays the same, pushing the butt back. We have only 22. Ready? All right. But back and one. Shoulder blades are together. But back and two. You're going to feel the stretch. Three in that hamstring a little bit differently. Four. Five. Six. Seven.
six, seven, hold on eight, extend, one, point the toe if you want, two, you're going to feel it deeper, three, four, it's going to travel right down your knee, five, from your hip, six, seven, eight, one more, nine, now flex the foot, in, one, in, two, so that knee's coming towards your shoulder, three, in, four, in, five, in, six, in, seven, in, eight, take a quick break, Woo! <laughs> we're going to lift to the side and push straight back, here we go, up, one, now, the foot is still two, toes pointing towards me, three, heels towards the back room, four, you are not spinning, five, that way, uh-uh, six, we're working the side of the hip, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going, one, come on, squeeze, two, three, four, like you're pushing someone away, five, six, seven, eight, one more, nine, Woo. Go ahead and sit back, give it a break, because I want you to be strong enough to hit the other side. All right, other side. We just had the lift first. My bench is sweating. It's nasty. I have to clean it. <laughs> One. Remember, I don't want to see your crotch. Two. Uh-uh. Three. Keep it in the hip. Four. It's so small. Five. Six. Oh, this leg can be trashed. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One, two, three, abs are tight, four, no of this, five, arching, there we go, six, too many lives today, seven, eight, toes pointed, one, oh my gosh, two, oh, three, four, so you can tell on this side, five, my leg is a lot lower, six, seven, eight, Nine. I need a second. If you don't, you're great. You're amazing. Bring it up. Push. So in, push to the side. Two, three. You can see my leg is four. Dying. Woo. Okay. Five, six. Into the sh seven. Shoulder. Get it back. Eight and nine. Good job. Quick break. Oh, gracious. All right. Last 19. <laughs> so again, we're not pushing straight back. Okay, our heel's not going up. We're here. All right? Oh, that hurts. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Really strengthening. Five. All those small hip muscles. Six, seven. So important for the core. Eight. Stabilization. Nine, ten. We got nine more. I'm dying. Nine. Eight, this is real life, seven, six, five, abs are tight, four, I'm punching with this, three, two, and one. Good job. Holy crap. Sit back. Lean over to one side. Let's stretch it out. Breathe through it. And sink in. Good job. Take it back to the center. Over the other side. Take a deep breath. And sink in. One more this side. And exhale. All right. Woo! That booty and hips are on fire. I know I've heard Jeremy already say that he's feeling the strength difference. Guys, hopefully you are too. Let's go ahead and stretch out that inner thigh a little bit. Toes are up. I'm going to face you. Hips are forward. And you can either take your toes down, facing forward, and just sit into it. You can put your hands here for some support. If I want to stretch out that inside thigh, you should feel it down right past your knee on the inside. Don't go into pain. Don't push into too much pressure. We're just giving a nice little, hey, thank you, stretch. Pressing the top hip towards the bottom knee. Exhale, sink. Well done. Let's go ahead and stand up. We're going to go ahead and hit those hamstrings real quick. Guys, I know you're working hard. 
Push your butt back like you want to put in somebody's hand. Now, like you're going to do a bend and snap. Bring it down as far as you feel comfortable, but push the booty back. That's where your stretch is. Now come up, plant the foot. Somebody nailed you to the floor. Sit back again and just wiggle. You're going to feel that hamstring release a little bit. Roll it up. Other side, kick that heel out. Put the booty into somebody's hand. Sit back. Relax, we're not hands on the knees. Hands can be on the thighs or, you know, somewhere else. Good job, plant the foot, nail it into the floor, sit back and just wiggle. Beautiful job, beautiful job. All right, today's assignment. I want you to let me know if you are feeling stronger in the core, and I mean the front and the back. If you're feeling stronger with your upper body, and definitely if you're feeling more stable and stronger, and if you've noticed any kind of lifting in the booty, especially I want to hear from Jeremy because I know he's getting ready to go to Jamaica and he's going to be wanting all those swim swimwear and he's going to make the Navy look good. All right, guys, have a good one. See you tomorrow.